Late today, officials called the killings of eight members of an Ohio family on Friday a pre-planned execution. The manhunt continues in southern Ohio for whoever is responsible. And tonight, David Begno is in Pike County, Ohio. Law enforcement has now finished collecting evidence at the homes where the killings took place. And tonight, crews are searching the wooded areas around those properties. Ohio's Attorney General Mike DeWine is leading the investigation. Do you think the perpetrator was a stranger to the family or do you think the individual was known to the victims? You know, I think we should not speculate about whether or not uh, the assailant or assailants were known to the family or were not. Pike County Sheriff Charles Reeder says the killer may have had help. You have multiple crime scenes. You have eight people in a family uh, that were murdered in four different locations. Some of the victims apparently put up a fight. Others were shot dead in their sleep. All suffered gunshot wounds to the head, according to authorities. The surviving members of the Roden family have been warned. They are the only apparent targets. There's been no other family targeted in this county but them. Eight members of their family. I told them we would be there if they needed anything. Um, I told them to be armed. At the Dogwood Festival in downtown Piketon this afternoon, the crowd was smaller than usual. Courtney Boyer came with her infant. You know, people are scared to come out. You know, what if that person who shot all those people is running around here? You don't know who it is or what they're capable of doing. Brandy Theobald grew up around the victims. She is nervous. Uncomfortable, sad, just on edge, just like just waiting for something else to happen. Seven of the eight autopsies have already been completed. The final autopsy will happen tomorrow. Jeff, the attorney general said this afternoon there were three marijuana grow operations found at the crime scenes. And the attorney general says drug activity and gang activity are being considered as possible motives. But nothing is certain as of right now. David Begno, thank you.